Non, parce qu'apparemment ils ont déménagé la base dans le coin. C'est qui euh, bah, Peu importe, on veut juste un distributeur. Ah oui, euh, c'est là maintenant. L'autre côté de ce bâtiment. Côté de ce bâtiment. Ouais, 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 ouais. C'est pas évident ici. D'accord, merci. Je vous en prie. Il y a des gens qui se comme manga. They get in free to the Japan exhibition. Those are some pretty cool costumes. That guy just asked me uh, where the cash machine was uh, because um, it used to be over here and now it's not anymore. And somehow I remembered that it's over here. Oh, God, I hate when this happens. This has been happening to me so much recently. Also, um, it's July 1st now. We're officially in vacation time here in France, which is all of July and all of August. So, you know, everybody cancels. They're not available. There's a specialist doctor that I have to see uh, a couple times a year, at least. And uh, I won't even be able to see him until the end of August, you know. You better not have anything go wrong with your teeth or need a plumber or you know, need a doctor or anything. It's just, everything's closed. No business decisions will be made uh, starting about mid-June up until about mid-September, which is called la rentrée. You know, back to school, back from vacation. Now, I'm not saying that people go away for two months or anything like that. It's just that everything winds down. And I know that that sounds a little bit nutty because a total of about 25% of the year here in France is uh, vacation time, it's downtime. The other period is from about December 15th until about January 15th. And then there are school holidays and whatever. But um, actually uh, GDP is way up. Uh, it was way up last year and it's almost like superheated this year. And unemployment is way down. And um, in a comparison done a few years ago, um, among, uh, excuse me, I'm, I'm a bit chilly. It's rather cool today here. Maybe I should stand in the sun. Uh, except I hate the sun. Um, there was a, a, a comparison study done among French, German, and American workers as to who was the least expensive to employ, the most productive. And the French won, hands down. I had sort of thought, I don't know what I thought. I was just very, very surprised. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm really bored, so I'm chattering on. Um, I, I read a, a, an article recently in the French mainstream media about 10 things not to do if you want to get a girlfriend, if, if you're a man, <laughs> okay? And I was very surprised at, at the list, but it explained why and some of the reasons are scientific let's see if I can remember some of them no I can't remember all of them that's for sure um, one of them was don't be thin women uh, will not it's psychological and genetic um, women choose a, a physical partner who has a little more weight on them, even even somebody perhaps of substantial girth, um, because they are likely to have more estrogen and uh, delayed um, ejaculation, thus uh, providing longer relations, thus more potential pleasure for the woman. I was surprised by that. Um, I don't particularly like very thin men either although my husband is both bulimic and anorexic and he was medically underweight for years and he's still very very thin I think he's very attractive I'm very attracted to him so but generally speaking it's it's true I I prefer a guy with more on him I hadn't really thought about that um of course, muscles are nice, you know, but I mean just like more flesh, you know, not thin. There's something about skinny guys or thin guys that doesn't really work for me. Okay, the other, um, the other things was don't have a dog. And 
I don't remember what the reason for that was, but it was very well explained. And the third thing I remember was don't do like Facebook or any social networking. Don't do any computer stuff very much. Um, no Twitter, uh, nothing like that. They don't like it. Um, that's all I remember, but it, w it was pretty, pretty neat. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.